Hey what's up guys today we'll be unboxing the Astro A50 headset 3rd generation As you can see I took a liberty the liberty to take off some of the box I'm going to show you right now This is the Xbox One edition and also compatible with Windows 10 as you can see right there on the box um, The reason I went for this is obviously because I play a lot on Xbox and that's my uh, main platform On the box it says like on the back whatever is inside and how it works and whatever it does not that interesting what I really liked is there's also um, some box art inside the box as you can see real nice Xbox green of course with some lines as well as the art on the outside of this box which is really really nice I really like how much art they put on the outside of the box let's uh, get to the headset as you can see on top is just the Astro 50 headset it's a wireless headset by the way and it feels really really nice it's really soft and feels really sturdy so uh, hopefully the sound quality is good as well I've read that is really good and it's probably a lot better than the headsets I've had before so I'm quite excited to test this yeah let's see what else is in the box I will show you greater details as well uh, of the headset with like photos because it's a lot easier to do show details then but for now I'm just going to show you what's inside the box so as you can see under here is the base station this is to charge your headset of course and also to uh, send out the signal the wireless signal for your headset so either connect it to your PC if you want to play on PC or connect it with a USB to the Xbox if you want to connect uh, if you want to play on your Xbox. Okay, let's get some of this plastic off. <laughs> Always nice when you get new things you can uh, take off the plastic foil. This is our screen by the way. You, it will indicate the battery status of your headset as well as the Dolby Digital Sound. On the base station itself you've got these metal parts which are to charge your headset. One side has like two of them, one side has one of them. And you have to place them uh, correspondingly. They have magnets so if you put your headset on it as you can see it will just snap to it. So don't worry about positioning it on it because it will go really really easy. This is the cable to charge it of course and an optical cable. These are all the cables you need. Um, this battery life of this headset is about 15 hours and if you still think that isn't enough there's also an option to um, if you have a micro USB to USB cable to just plug it into the base station and plug one and the other side in, into the headset and to just charge while playing as you can see the headset has like little lines on the metal bars on the side each of the sides so you can easily adjust them to the size you wanted and easily remember to which size you had them. Um, the headset, if it's up like it is now, it's muted and if it goes down, it's it, you can speak and it's on. These like cushions on it, on the earphones of course. You can take these off, they are attached with little magnets. As you can see on the photo, they're quite easy to take off. Um, you can customize them with custom kits as well as the top of the headset which you can see you can also take that off and place a custom one in if you want um, as well you've got these buttons on the right uh, earphone on the back of course when you put it on um, the bottom one is the volume so you can easily adjust the volume while you're in the game which is really really nice the button above that has like three numbers um, which correspond to three presets you can put on it like you can adjust the audio in the on the PC for your A50 headset and all the different adjustments you make you can save up to three of them onto your headset and easily switch between them which is very very nice a bit like uh, on the Elite controller you've got like two presets which you can customize and save on the controller which is very very nice the button above that is the Dolby Digital button what this does is if you put it off the sound from both sides will be the same and you will have no, no surround sound it will just be the sound like for example if you're playing a 2d game 
and it's not important to have surround sound you can turn it off if you want or when you're listening music or something it's not necessary to have that so you can just turn it off i recommend leaving it on if you play shooters or something like it for it is very very nice if you can hear from which side the enemy is coming um above it you see a little gray bar that's a that's a light indicator it will be orange when it's uh, the headset is on it will be orange when you put your headset on the base station to charge it of course and it will be red when it's fully fully charged um, above that is the power button of course if it's down it's off if it's up it's on and um, even if it's down and you put it on the base station the indicator will the indicator light will go on to show you that it's charging of course so be mindful of that also got a different light um, depending on if you put it on PC mode or Xbox mode probably the same with PlayStation um, well I don't know if the lights are color are the same but with Xbox is it if it's on Xbox mode on the base station it's red if it's in PC mode it's white um, you gotta really look out for this because if you're playing on your Xbox and it's on PC mode you will still hear your teammates in the chat and you will still hear the sound from the game if uh, you set it up correctly of course but you won't be able to talk to them they won't hear you if you speak in your headset even if it's not muted even if it's down so you really gotta put it on xbox mode if you're playing on xbox same as for pc you can't use the astro command center to edit the settings if it's on xbox mode it also asks you to put it on pc mode if you put it in a pc um, for the battery status by the way if you want to see how full it is like in percentage you can just uh, put it on PC mode plug the command center into your uh, PC start up the uh, command center and it will say the percentage of your battery so you can easily see how full it still is um, and as well there will be many many other settings that I didn't show you in the um, command center but I'm not going to into detail what they all do you can also choose to of course just leave it on the default settings still works like that still a good headset if it's on the default settings it's just if you're uh, you know play a lot it might want to invest a bit of time in that so that's pretty much everything on this headset if you have any questions about the settings leave them in the comments and I'll try to help you guys and since I will probably not see you guys until after Christmas I'm going to wish you a Merry Christmas fellas and hopefully I'll see you in my future unboxings and gameplay videos.